There are many videos on YouTube that try to suggest that if a vacuum cleaner can suck up flour from under a rug, then it's a better carpet cleaner than one that can't. This isn't actually true, and the rest of this short video explains why. Some carpets have sealed resin or flexible latex backing material that doesn't let anything through. This is often by design to ensure if you spill something or use a wet cleaning method, the water doesn't penetrate beneath into any underlay, making it difficult to dry, which would cause moulding and smells. But the rugs shown in the videos have a porous backing and can let dust through. So the first false assumption is that rugs are representative of all carpets. They're not. The second false assumption is that all the flour placed underneath is fully extracted into the cleaner. A carpet is a highly complex network of fibres and acts just like a filter and blocks the movement of particles through it. In these tests, particles enter from one end and it's implied they exit from the other, but there's actually maximum filtration and particle trapping. That's not reflective of a real-world situation where dust and dirt land on the top of the carpet and the filter effect stops fine dust from getting to the base with regular and responsible housekeeping. Removing dust is also a statistical process as discussed in detail in the videos in description links 1 and 2. There's always something left in the pile, and the flour under the rug tests never show how much. The only fair and comparative way to measure the actual average cleaning performance across all floor types between different machines is by using strict and reproducible industry standard testing. It doesn't matter whether or not flour remains under a rug, because it would never even be there in real world living, and this test doesn't accurately show how much dust is left behind in the pile. The third false assumption is that only airflow through a pile is relevant to cleaning performance. As discussed in the video with the third link in the description, to get the best cleaning results, the design of the floor head must make best use of the available airflow through a pile to avoid wasting it. Brute forced high airflow machines can be outperformed using relatively less airflow that is better utilised. Dirt gets trapped between fibres, and only when it's free can it be removed by the airflow. Releasing trapped particles takes time, and is why removal is statistical for every vacuum. In summary, don't be deceived by this kind of misleading test in YouTube videos. Unlike rugs, many carpets can't have dust sucked through the backing material, and for any that can, while flour might not be under the rug anymore, much of it is still trapped in the pile. Dirt doesn't even get under a carpet in normal living anyway. You can only measure how well a vacuum cleans by conducting highly accurate, fair and comparative industry standard testing. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.